Hello, my name is Kara Smick. I'm 15 years old and I go to school at Vestal High School and I'm in 10th grade. I live in Vestal, upstate New York and I've been singing, dancing, and acting since I was four years old. I'm very excited to be auditioning for a year vocal theater program. A few things I would like to work on over the summer is first consistency so I can continuously do my best. The second is confidence so I know I can be great. And then the third is connection to the text or to other people on stage so it makes more sense and the audience enjoys it a bit more. Thank you. One of the most influential arts experiences that I've ever experienced is going to see a Disney World or a Disneyland or a cruise or anything relating to Disney and being elated and magical has always inspired me, seeing the costumes and the colors and the magic and the songs and the music. It, it was such a surreal experience for me that I, it still inspires me to this day. A few things that make me happy aside from performing is hanging out with friends and traveling with family. The things I can do when traveling is crazy. <laughs> it's such a amazing opportunity for me to be able to kind of leave my house and my town and be able to explore and do other things such as eating different foods, meeting different people, hearing different languages, seeing different ways that people build their houses and communities is really neat and being able to experience that with my family is something that I will treasure for forever and I hope to travel more in the future or even join a volunteering service like Peace Corps just to be able to be out there and to be able to see different people and be able to give back during that is something I really look forward to. Hello, my name is Kara Smick and I'm going to be doing a monologue from To Jillian on her 37th birthday by Michael Brady and I'm going to be doing the character Rachel. This is my mother's hat. It was kind of her lucky hat. The last time I saw her. I mean, before the accident. She was wearing this hat. She always wore this hat. This was her bike. It's a long story. We used to come out here first thing when she got back for the summer. It was our place to get reacquainted. Have a mother, daughter. She would tell me all about her orangutans, and then she'd go develop her pictures. I remember the last time she'd given the orangutans our names. Esther was the bossy one. Paul was the one that made faces all the time. And Rachel was very, very quiet. I had forgotten all about that. You know, sometimes I think about her. And I tell myself, if I think about her, then somehow she's still alive. That's crazy, right? You know, I went with her once to Kenya when I was in Nina. I was in her way the whole time, though she never said so. The next summer I lied. I said it was too hot. I just wanted to stay on the beach. I could have helped her. I know how to tag animals. And I could have done all the weighing and observing.
could have been friends. That's what she wanted. I just wanted her to be my mother. She was a good scientist. I thought she was the best. But she was away a lot. And she took risks. Going up on that mask was stupid. It was reckless. And stupid, and why doesn't anyone talk about that? She shouldn't have gone up there. She was my mother. And if she acted like my mother, just that one time, then maybe she'd still be alive today. Thank you. Hello, my name is Kara Smick, and I'm going to be singing Live Out Loud from Little Princess by Andrew Lippa.
dreams and into the bush of fall.